The wetlands on both sides of Maine's Fourth Machias Lake are among Maine's focus areas of ecological significance. This film takes you on a circular tour of Fourth Machias Lake's wetlands, exploring the fens and bogs on the east side first, then crossing over the lake headed west to explore the fens and bogs on the west side of the lake. Flying over Fourth Machias Lake's east side wetlands early in the morning, headed east, we cross dead stream flowing into the lake from the southeast. Dead stream flows through a long series of fens and wetlands for several miles before reaching the large open collection of fens and bogs seen here. The surface coloration and plant populations give us direct clues to the locations of fens and bogs, but we would also like to see groundwater flows and know the underlying bedrock to fully understand where these bogs begin and fens end. Immediately south of Dead Stream, we see a colorful small bog and another large, lightly treed bog beyond to the south, both with pockets of trap water near their centers. Viewing from above, we are at the X and flying south-southwest. You can see the colorful bog in front of us near the tip of the arrow and the larger bog beyond. Bogs and fens are both peatlands. What sets them apart is their source of water. Bogs are generally depressions deriving their water from rain and having no flowing water, and are usually nutrient poor. Fens are typically fed by a steady source of groundwater flowing under, through, or on their peat layer, and are often nutrient rich. Bogs are usually acidic, and fens vary from slightly acidic or neutral to slightly alkaline. Continuing south, we fly over a fen transition between a heavily forest glacial deposit to the right and a lightly forested bog to the left. The bog eventually dominates, and the slim fen appears to wind through several glacial deposits, or esker remnants, before joining a large fen leading back to the lake. The 1,900-acre large, unpatterned fen ecosystem found around Fourth Machias Lake comprises a diverse mosaic of integrating community types, including tall sedge fen, sedge heath fen, sweet gale fen, and dwarf shrub bog. Rare natural communities here include black spruce bog, blueberry barren, dwarf shrub bog, early successional forest, hemlock forest, white pine forest, tall sedge fen, and unpatterned fen ecosystem. It is the fens which brought us to Maine's Fourth Machias Lake to photograph this unpatterned fen ecosystem surrounding the lake. Together with the fens of Big Musquash Stream to the east, these are two of the largest and best unpatterned fen ecosystems in Maine. At the south end of nearby Gasabias Lake, there is an exemplary black spruce bog. An old growth forest east of Gasabias Lake has white pine trees up to 275 years old. A large stand of red pine, rare in Maine, runs along an esker on the west shore of this lake, and another stand is found east of Gasabias Lake. Fourth Machias Lake and Fourth Lake Stream are part of a migration corridor for Atlantic salmon, a federally threatened species. Salmon spawn in both the inlet stream from Fifth Machias Lake and the outlet stream to Third Machias Lake. After flying across Fourth Machias Lake to the west side, we turn north, where we see a similar landscape to that we saw on the east side of the lake. A broad glacial esker to the right and a broad fen complex to the left, opening onto a large broad fen with a central unnamed stream. 
This unpatterned fin complex to the west side of the lake is not as large as the east side, but no less varied and similar in plant types and distribution. As the wetland transitions from bog to fen, we begin to see the dominance of sedges on either side of the flowing stream. We also begin to see dark bays on the stream, indicating water levels are frequently higher when this stream occupies a larger portion of the fen. A glance at Google Earth confirms this. Flying over this broad fen, we can see the sedge-dominated portions close to the stream and shrub density varying from very few shrubs near the stream to a heavy population near the woodlands. This is an example that we may have multiple fen types across this fen and that we cannot classify a fen as a single type when there may be two or more types present, which may be the case here. We also see a small bog along the trees to the right, showing heavy shrub cover and orange patches of moss near the bog fen transition. Pickerel weed lines the stream throughout this fen complex, common when stream flows are low. A glacial esker separates a portion of this fen from the lake and begins again on the point beyond the stream's outlet to Fourth Machias Lake. That distant esker contains a rare stand of red pine, and another rare stand of red pine is located just south of the lake. Curiously, a beaver lodge sits in the stream near the outlet to the lake with no beaver dam in sight and no close access to saplings for food. Is this a vacation lodge? These important wetlands also provide nesting habitat for the endangered black tern and bald eagles. We return to the east side of the lake to see more detail of the sedge-dominated fens and the edges of dead stream. There are very few patches of pickerel weed lining this stream, perhaps because the stream dries up to a shallow depth or has too great a flow rate. Rapid changes in surface fen vegetation types near the point show us bog-like vegetation in a patch before the point and a larger patch at the point. Cobbles on the islands just offshore reminds us that this landscape was once covered by a mile-deep ice layer, and these rounded rocks are related to the glacier's movements. Returning to the west side of the lake, we can see this large fen has a shrub component that has more density close to the tree line and is less dense toward the stream. Maine's Natural Area Program lists these fens as tall sedge fens within a large unpatterned fen ecosystem. Fortunately, these fens in a 12,000 acre landscape of forest and lakes west of Grand Lake Stream are now largely protected due to the efforts of the state of Maine and the Down East Lakes Land Trust. At 1,900 acres, this is one of the largest unpatterned fen ecosystems in the state.